President Trump called for unity again today after a series of suspicious packages targeted people all across the country this week. Today, a package arrived at Robert De Niro's production company in New York. He, like several others targeted, are known for being critical of the president. That has voters questioning, has the political divide gone too far? James Torres has reactions from local voters tonight. James. To the polls. You know, it's time to vote, man. It's, it's, it's your civil duties. I wanted to come out and vote so that my voice can make a difference. With two heated races in Tennessee, Hamilton County is already seeing a record number of votes this early voting cycle. Right now, both races appear close, and many agree there is a deep divide between Democrats and Republicans. It, it's a divide between the two, but at the same time, I mean, it's, that's, this is that day and age, this is what we're living in. This is the world we're living in. It's, it's just going too far, and, and, and um, I think we all need to maybe think about trying to dial it back. That idea heightened after suspicious packages were addressed to Democrats and people known to be critics of President Donald Trump. The president condemned the attempted act of violence. And acts or threats of political violence of any kind have no place in the United States of America. But the common ground between each of these targets has some voters wondering, was this attack politically motivated? It could be coincidence, but you know. There's no place here in any state in the United States for that type of behavior. I really don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I'm trying to keep my mind open to any possibility. Uh, you know, in, in this day and age, it's hard to say. It's really, it's really just hard to say. James Torres with that story tonight. Tonight, law enforcement officers are still trying to find uh, who sent all of those packages. Officials believe several of the devices were mailed through the Opelika, Florida mail center that you see right there on your screen. That's according to two law enforcement officials familiar with the investigation. U.S. Postal Service employee says the facility handles mail that is incoming and outgoing from South Florida. Now the U.S. Postal Service is mailing these flyers that you see right here as a warning company. He says they want people to be aware of suspicious mail or packages. The flyer shows warning signs including no return address, also misspelled words, and suspicious substances.